What's up guys? We are back in my office. Um, today we're going to go over five ways to location scout because as a photographer we all know that's the last thing you want to do. You just want to go out, shoot, and get some good photos. But you got to find where to take those photos. Let's get into it. Number one is going to seem pretty obvious but Google Maps slash Google Earth is going to be your jam for playing the lazy card. If you just want to sit home, chill, and scout locations on your phone, it's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. You can just flip on maps, turn to satellite mode, and it'll show you every little bit of detail you will ever need to see. Um, this comes in handy because you can like go down to street view and check out how it's actually going to look like in person. That's the best. So Google Maps number one number two is really going to be more helpful if you're going out of where you live like in a different state or anything like that and it's going to be like an information tourist center that has like the attraction flyers um, these are helpful because they will tell you about things they really want you to know and that are really good viewing points that they think everyone should be able to see um, for example me and my wife went up to north carolina um, a few weeks ago we had like a few spots we had picked out obviously like Biltmore Estate is beautiful um, and one model went there and we shot and like my father-in-law had a bunch of different like flyers all stacked up on a table so we went through those figured out that there's a cool place called Blowing Rock that has some outstanding views there's different things like that like the state is gonna try to help you out in some way shape or form number three is gonna be really obvious but you know, sometimes you just gotta cover the obvious. And that's Instagram hashtags. Instagram hashtags are gonna be just near the top. These are in no order, but like, this is gonna be one of the easiest ways to find cool locations and stuff like that. Honestly, if you're struggling trying to find another cool spot in your own city, this is a great way to do that. You can type in your city in the hashtag bar go scroll through and scroll through and then like ooh that's a cool spot I've never seen it before tap on it and a lot of times those people will have a geotag down or not down on the top um, and all you have to do is go click and voila you now know where that location is and a lot of times you can just if it's not the right location or you really want to know where that photographer took that photo just reach out most of the time if they're not a jerk or anything they'll just tell you where it is i have it happen to me all the time um one person that i know for a fact it happens all the time he's super good at finding spots his i'll put his tag right here his name is ryan buckner this dude posts like locations that i didn't even know existed in my city what? All right, moving on. Number four is another pretty simple way, but also you gotta be more of an extrovert, in my opinion, because my wife will not do this whatsoever, but that's ask the locals. And you'll be surprised how many cool spots the locals know that you will just never find on a map, a traction flyer, you name it, you probably won't find it unless you ask a local. For instance, we found this place called Black Balsam Knob that we would have never ever found, especially when you get near the location to try and find the trail to hike there. You won't, you'll walk right past it. We did twice. Um, but yeah, we found this out from a local. So we took a model up there and it's outstanding. The views, like if you go farther up the mountain, you can see all these tents and stuff like that. If people actually camping up there, Pretty dope spot, but yeah, he'll easily walk past the trail that's like covered with bushes. You'll never see it. Last but not least, number five is probably the most rewarding way to find your location or scout it out is to explore and drive around and find it yourself. Um, the reason this is probably the most rewarding is because it's one of those no one else has this or no one else has shot here kind of feel and it's really rewarding, especially when you post and you have those people like reaching out and like, bro, where is this? This is so sick. Um, but yeah, like when you,
drive around and like finding those spots, planning it out, you know firsthand how it's gonna look, your compositions. Bring your camera with you so you can see what angles you can grab. Like I shoot on a 28, 1.8 and a 50, 1.4. I'm very restricted on how things are gonna look. I have two lenses. So when it comes to those two lenses, like being, bringing my camera with me and being able to kind of look through my camera and see how it's gonna look when I take a photo or a video, very, very handy. So guys, that is it um, for this video. Um, comment below, let's get a little conversation going. Um, is there another way that you like to location scout or anything like that? Is there something I missed, anything like that? Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. I'm gonna end up doing more videos like this. I found out this is, this is kind of fun. So uh, yeah, you'll probably see this wannabe of a setup, office setup thing more often. So see you guys in the next one.